Ladies and gentlemen, Alex here from Maximum Charge. Oh, sorry, wrong channel. Hey, what's up, chitheads? Welcome back to the channel. Well, the day I've been dreading is here, which means it is officially range test day on the new Dual Star, which is one of the bikes I consider to have a ridiculous amount of range. 35 amp hours in total. I'm gonna to be doing this whole ride in Pedal Assist 3 using the throttle on and off. So there's one favor I need to ask of you absolutely mutilate that like button because I'm potentially going to be riding 70 to 80 miles today and I'm absolutely not looking forward to the permanent damage I'm probably going to do to my butt. Yeah, anyways guys, come on, let's go. Before we get too far into this guys, I want to let you know one pro tip. When you get your dual star, you know, your regular battery snaps into place and you don't need to lock it in. But with the rear battery on this bike, you do need to lock it in. So don't just slide it in there and keep going because it can flop right out. Okay, I'm actually gonna remember to set my, reset my mile, my, my odometer for this trip. So we're at zero miles on here, and I also started my Strava, but uh, unfortunately my Strava is less than reliable, so we're probably gonna have to be going off the mileage from the uh, Dual Stars display here. I can dish out a 30, 40 mile ride. I've done it multiple times. The furthest I've ever ridden a bike is just about 60 miles, or just over 60. And believe it or not, that was on a traditional pedal bike. So today I'm probably gonna be smashing that record. And uh, as of right now, guys, I'm not really looking forward to it, but uh, you know, these are the things, these are the sacrifices I make for you guys, the viewers. One thing I know, notice though, is this voltage dips significantly less when you have the dual batteries there. It gives you more of a buffer on your voltage. So stock on a fo stock five star with one battery, you start pedaling, it'll dip down to like 63 volts right away. This is going to like 65, so I had a full 67.2 volts. This just makes me wonder, now, okay, I have this bike now, two batteries, probably gonna get a range, you know, 60, 70 miles, right? What's it gonna be like in 10 years? They're gonna have, what, 100 amp hour batteries? Bikes with, you know, a bike that weighs about 80 pounds, gonna have a range of like 300 miles? I think it's gonna, it's going to get to a point where it's just ridiculous and they'll be able to put out so much power for the weight ratio that it's going to, they're going to have to limit it because it's going to be completely unusable. So as of now, yeah, this bike can do 40. They can have bikes around the same you know, weight ratio that can probably do well over 100 miles an hour and have over 100 miles of range. So it's going to be very interesting to see what happens in the electric bike market. There's no way of... Uh, pretending this one's not gonna hurt a bit. So uh, we'll catch up with you in a little bit and uh, yeah, we'll talk then. We're about five miles in guys and I wanna point out, isn't that funny it says illegal dumping is a crime? Isn't that kind of implied by the name illegal dumping? Sorry, I'm contractually bound to point that out every time. So we are 5.4 miles in, showing 64.9 volts. Ladies and gentlemen, it's gonna be a long one. Quickly wanted to point out too, uh, this time around I have 25 pounds of pressure in the front and rear tires. In a range test in the past, I was running around 20. But now, in general, I run higher pressure on these tires, especially when I'm riding on the asphalt, which is the vast majority of the time. So. Uh, yeah, I like it. It's less rolling resistance and most of the time I'm running on asphalt on these bikes anyways. I'm really liking the brakes. The, the, these four piston Tektro hydraulic brakes that come on the upgrade, updated five stars and the dual stars, they just feel very, very nice. Very nice handle feel. They feel very solid. They, you know, these things are getting the job done. I really like this front headlight. I think e -Cell states that this headlight, you can see two to three days into the future. Funny thing I've noticed off the side of this bike path here is just this random melon patch. I see it here every year around a certain time. You see these watermelons. They're growing right off the side of the bike path. I don't know how this uh, originated, but through this one little stretch here, there's just these melons everywhere. And, and let me tell you, I love melons. All right, 10 miles update, 63.9 resting volts. Oh man, I'm not looking forward to it. But as of right now, guys, I have to tell you, this is still fun. 
This, I'm so enthusiastic. I'm enjoying the day, getting some sun, riding the bike. But I have a feeling at some point this is all going to come. This delusion is going to come crashing down. Strava's still running. Says 9.9 .9 miles. So looks like we're pretty close to being in sync. We'll see how long my Strava keeps it up with. But guys, let's keep going. Once you start to realize how much range you get on these bikes, even on a stock five star, it kind of opens up your whole world. Hi, I'm on YouTube. Previously, things you would think like, oh, that's out of the reach. I'm on a bike, I can't go that far. It's like, man, we're potentially gonna do 70 miles today. That's absurd. I mean, if you ever thought, hey, I'm gonna ride a bike 70 miles, and I'm about 245 pounds, then I have about 10 pounds of gear. So about 255 pounds, including the extra weight of the additional battery on this bike. Let's see how far we get. Hey, don't forget to mutilate that like button, guys. All right, for consistency's sake, this is where we do the off-road section and I rely on the throttle through here. Hopefully it's not so overgrown this time around. I don't really like having itchy shins. We're doing trailblazing already. <laughs> oh God, why do I do this? Maybe I'll take this out of the official range test course, guys. Ah, my shins. <laughs> oh God, what am I doing with my life? Okay, I'm getting out of here. I don't think I'm gonna do that anymore, guys. Oh yes, where were we? That's right, we are riding our e-bikes like civilized humans. Back to the bike trail. Do you see that mountain in the background? Well, many of you OGs to the channel might remember when I rode this bike to the top of that mountain. That's just another example of some of the uh, things you can do on your e-bikes. Don't forget to wear sunscreen, guys. You know, this range test actually comes at a pretty good time because I was out of town recently, and I think when I was out of town, my diet consisted of 90% carbohydrates, so I felt like a fat slug the last week, and uh, it's time to burn off some calories and get active again. So I deserve this one, guys. Hey, there he is. All right, we are 15 miles into this ride, and you guys, I'm gonna have to start eating up some mileage, or I'm gonna be out here absolutely all day long. So, let's get riding. mile update's gonna come a little early. Normally I'm at the Marsh House, but uh, since I need extra mileage today, I decided to make a stop here. And right behind me, this is like a little unrestricted area, probably not supposed to be here, but the fence was torn open. I didn't do it, it was already that way. And this is what's known as the sand caves. Now I was never here in its full glory, because as you can see, they have been filled in. But I had a lot of friends in high school, they'd come out here and they'd drink beer and they'd have parties and stuff. And uh, this is what's left of them now. And I, this is actually the closest I've ever gotten to them. This is pretty cool. You can tell this is a pretty big cave. I'm not unrestricted enough to go in there and explore it. And besides, I don't have my flashlight with me, I mean flashlight with me today. Maybe another day. So look, this is right where we came out from that cave, and it's just right in the middle of a field. I mean, long-time residents here will know this is here, but you know, most people passing by would probably have no idea that any of this stuff is back here. This is what you get an e-bike for, ladies and gentlemen, to go explore your surroundings. The official 20-mile update, 64.2 bolts resting. Our Strava showing 20.18 miles, but it's already recovered from one crash, so I already tell you, Strava is probably not going to be that accurate. I'm going to 
gonna take an experimental path here because the alternative is riding on the road on a 50 mile an hour speed limit with a pretty small shoulder. So let's give this chance, a, we're gonna give this path a try here. Hopefully it doesn't backfire on me. Woo! This is pretty bumpy. Already kind of regretting my decision, fellas. All right, we made it out of that field. Zero out of five stars, would not recommend that field. So sometimes the unrestricted lifestyle backfires and uh, that was one of those times. I don't know how or why road bikers love riding in situations like this. This is absolutely my least favorite type of riding. Tiny, uh, tiny shoulder right next to speeding cars, no thanks. So look how close that guy is. We survived. Now this is an old road that's been uh, taken out of commission and now it's only open to foot traffic and bicycle traffic. So we're safe guys. And then we're gonna continue along. I'll catch up with you in just a little bit. All right, 30 mile update. 61.5 volts resting, 30 miles exactly on here. And uh, I'm getting less enthusiastic. My butt is starting to get a bit sore, so I'm finding myself readjusting. Uh, I'm starting to readjust my expectations as well. I'm kind of thinking we're gonna get right about 60 miles at this pace, but you know, we'll see. Hey, we're doing the normal course backwards. Feels so much different going the, uh, the opposite direction. All right guys, I stopped off at home, short intermission to try and make some adjustments on the rear rack. Uh, resting voltage, we're right about 60 volts right now. And we are at 36.2 miles. So under load, we're about 58 volts. But uh, we're just gonna have to see how this ends up. All right, official 40 mile update, 58.1 resting voltage, 40 miles exactly, and uh, yeah, we're gonna keep going. This section of trail, I've been riding directly into the wind the last few miles. It's, uh, you know, kind of annoying. All I hear is the wind noise in my ears, but overall, I'm still enjoying it. Uh, my little intermission I took at home uh, gave my butt a second wind, so I'm not too uncomfortable yet either. So typically we'd be out of range on the single battery at this point. Already done a significant amount of riding today and hopefully my Strava doesn't mess up and you get to see the overlaying map because uh, we've gone pretty dang far. I don't know if you're gonna be able to hear that wind noise because I have a wind muff on, but it's pretty windy right now. You can see here those little windmills give you any indication of how much wind there is. We're gonna take a little detour here over the pipe of doom. It's a lot scarier than it looks on video, I'll tell you that much. Well, we're just gonna keep trekking along, guys. I'm trying to just uh, get some miles in the books at this point and uh, kind of just get this test done with. All right, we are out in Concord now. I'm at the furthest point away from my house that I'm gonna end up today. Uh, pretty far out. We are at 47.8 miles on the bike and Strava says 48.2. And uh, as of now, my butt's not very happy with me. Uh, that was kind of a grind. The wind was blowing in my face the whole time, that slush stretch, so I had the pedal pretty much consistently. We are now at 56.4 volts. And luckily for me, it's time to turn around and we'll have the wind going with us. So uh, yeah, guys, 
check in with you in just a bit. All right, guys, 50 miles in, 56 volts resting. And uh, I have to say, I've got a second wind, literally, because now the wind's at my back. I don't have to hear the wind noise in my ears, and it's easier to pedal. So we're actually going at a slight downhill now. So, you know, it's, uh, it's anybody's ball game at this point. Well, let's see how far we can get, guys. I'm, uh, I'm uh, anxious to be done with it at this point, though, I'll tell you that much. But I'm still having fun, and it's all worth it, just, just so you guys can mutilate that like button. I have been riding it, too, a bit lately because, uh, Honestly, it's just been constant pedaling and I haven't wanted to drain the battery for no reason. Oh, what did you guys spend your Sunday doing? Did you ride your bike? Did you ride your bike 50 miles? I don't know about you. I really do enjoy doing this stuff. 50 mile rides, really not all that bad if you, uh, if you space it out, you know, if you're doing it like one constant pedal session, it gets to be a bit much, but, uh, if you space out a 50, 60 mile ride, guys, throughout the course of a day, it's really not as bad as you think. It feels so much nicer going through here with the wind at my back. This is nice. Mainly, you just don't have to hear that awful wind noise in your ears. It's amazing how fast a bike ride can go from fun to torture. I especially remember it riding on my acoustic bike as a kid. You know, you ride out for a while, and then you start riding back home or somewhere, and the wind's blowing right at you, and all of a sudden it's like, this is terrible. All right, guys, 60 mile update. We're getting to the home stretch. And uh, you know what, I'm not feeling too bad, actually, to be honest. Um, going out towards Concord area, the wind was in my face the whole time and it was not very fun. But coming back, I just zipped right back here. And you know what, we're back in the ball game and I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, Strava is doing a good job. We're at five, nine, five hours of total time. But keep in mind, I stopped at home for probably an hour. We're at 60.37 miles. You know, my butt hasn't been this sore since I was in the Boy Scouts. I don't think we're gonna make it to 70. We're at 55, 54.5 volts resting right now, but I think we'll probably get 65 or so. Well, this one way to find out, right? Man, it's pretty crazy to think I've gone 60 miles today. I mean, I've ridden just around town and stuff, but like 60 miles, that's an incredible distance. That's from here to San Francisco, that's from here to Sacramento. I mean, there's a lot of places I could go. I could probably get to San Jose from my house is less than 60 miles. So that's really crazy when you start to think of it in like a, as the bird flies distance. That's a long way to go. Holy crap, guys. I just want to say I saw the biggest bird I've ever seen. Oh, there it is right there. We got a long way to go. Short time to get there. We're going to do what they say can't be done. Now this is where this thing needs a horn. Oh, I almost forgot. I have officially beaten my single day mileage record now. So we're at 61.9 miles. So let's see what we're gonna end up today will be my new record. And uh, I have to say, I don't think I'm looking forward to beating that anytime soon. But honestly, the way things are going, I probably will sooner than later. All right, 63.7 miles, getting really close to the end now. We're about 51 volts under load. I have to say I don't feel as guilty about eating all those calories on vacation now. 65 miles and we are at 50.5 volts. So the end is very near. Hopefully it's not too near because I still have a few miles away from home. So maybe I should have, uh, maybe I should have uh, planned this one a bit better. All right guys, died at 66 miles. Exactly. So. Looks like the uh, voltage cutoff on the dual star is higher than it is on the five star. I remember riding a five star down to 49 volts. I think this one died right about 50. So uh, pray for me, guys. I have a couple miles to go home and I'm going to have to do it with no battery power at all. The good thing is it's downhill. But anyways, guys, 66 miles is a pretty good range on 250 pounds, 255 pounds or so with this kit on. So that's a pretty good ride, guys. I have no range anxiety at all when I ride this bike. And I'm really loving the Dual Star so far. So if you guys are interested in ordering one for yourself, you can use the link in the description of this video. Coupon code CHIT100 to save yourself $100 off the order. And uh, thanks for watching the video, guys. And uh, as always, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. And uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.